What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the Bleed meme team. We got some stuff to do here. We got to go ahead and finish out this week's event for our Bleed meme team. So, um, I don't know what we're buying just yet. I still haven't decided. We still have a whole nother week for that, so there's no point really rushing it. The one problem is we don't really have much more of the, uh, the essence to acquire here. So that's kind of an issue if we want to upgrade something else. Heroic Miracle, we finished out. Profit Summon Event, we need to do 10 more Profit Orbs. We should have them by now. We're not spending on this account because there's absolutely no reason to get any of those resources. Same with that on this account. So overall, we're pretty good. Monthly Fighter Competition, we need to finish up this weekend with Trial of Champion. Tavern Quest, we're completely done. Fusions, we're done. Broken Space is something we still haven't attempted just yet. And of course, one more daytime cycle brave trial so that's one more week essentially not too bad so let's take a look we don't have any resource chest just skin light and dark and of course that artifact selection chest i don't know i think what we want to do is get another amb on this account i think upgrading oh wait a minute no hold on this account didn't get the amb wait wait didn't we get an amb on this account didn't we throw money at it? Hold on, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I'm really confused now. What were we doing recently on this? Were we doing a sea land or something? Wait, hold on a minute. I thought we had an A and B on this account. Do we not? Do we actually not have an A and B on this account? I swore we got it at the end, but maybe we decided against it? interesting i don't know about that decision that i made i think this might have been the account that we completely whiffed <sighs> we spent on the other account didn't we oh man so we actually don't have it we need to save all these five stars up because we need 30 of them next week we do not have like any of the vests lit up so we got the five star we got at least the five star we're going to need to use some wishing coins, which we don't have. So we might spend a little bit on this account. Oh, decisions, decisions. I don't know what to use anywhere, anytime. But let's do our last 10 profit orbs. I think we're going to use them. Where do we use most of them at? I think Abyss. Yeah, let's just do one more 10 bomb in Abyss right here. We got tons of swaps, so we can figure out what we're doing with that. We hit two, five, three, five stars. That's awesome for next week's event. That'll give us 15 more relics and another wall deck copy. So that gives us how many extras? We got one right there, two, three wall deck for potentially another bleed hero. Not too bad. As far as crystals go, we're still a ways off from getting that Scarlet Queen, so we don't have to worry about building it. We can use some of these cores though. I think going for Ithka was not that bad of an idea. I kind of hope we get some Drake copies. Oh, I forgot to turn the end. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep the animation on. That was pretty good. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's just do these without with the cutscene. Adds a little more hype value to it, doesn't it? Maybe we can get another sphere. Can we get two spheres off of four cores of transcendence? Oh, we got an Ithaca. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Can we get something else good? Ah, oh, we got a lamb. Okay, I mean, two out of four hits is pretty good. That's actually that's actually really, really good. Um, So that sphere we need to crack open. Give me more stellar shards up to 350,000. Not bad, which means... We finish out the attack node and then we start upgrading the HP. We're almost done with the HP. So essentially we need about a million more, which is four more spheres that we need to get. And we will be maxed out to V4. So I know we're going to build the Drake soon. That's definitely going to happen. It actually can happen very, very soon. We can actually build them very soon. But for the time being, not really much of a point. I think with how close we are over here and we're going to get five more cores of transcendence next week from the special event. 
I think what we're going to do. Hmm. Save up to build a 10 star. I think that's the best option. Save up all of our food. We got a nine star puppet, which is amazing. So we just need to figure out a way to build a 10 star, which looks like it's probably going to happen in the abyss faction. Yeah. We don't have any six star puppets. I think what we're going for on our adventure is a, oh, it's a six star. So maybe we can go for forest. We do have Sky Lambeth next week, which means another six star puppet guaranteed. We got a five star hero chest. Um, Yeah, we're gonna save up. And eventually in the next couple weeks, we'll have our first V4 hero being the wall deck. Now I wish we get the wall deck to V4 like immediately, but that doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that today. So we're gonna step foot into Aspen Dungeon and see what he can do in death 50 plus. Wait. Yeah, we got there, right? Seven demon potions, maxed out potions, all very good. Let's take a look at the shop here. You know what I really want to see, guys? I really want to see these wishing coins. I'm buying all the wishing coins up that I see, even for gems. I don't care. I just need more wishing coins for this event. Because in reality, we could get a very upgraded Punisher of Immortal. Like, very upgraded. That could be kind of big. So yeah, we are gonna buy all these coins up. We'll buy anything else pretty much for gold that we need, uh, except for spirit. We're not gonna touch those. Give me more coins. Where are the coins at? Come on guys, there we go, more coins. I don't care if they're for gold or for gems, we're buying them up. Oh, come on, what's up with all these spirit offers? There we go, more coins, more coins, more stuff. And actually while I'm thinking about it, I gotta remember to buy these every single day as well. That puts us at 267. Could be tricky. You know what we could do? We could maybe build a Vessa? How many Vessa copies do we have? None. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, I don't even think we have the Vessa in here anymore, do we? Nope. Hmm. If we can do two loops, we can unlock the six star Vessa. So that's pretty good. I think we can get there because we're going to spend a little bit next week as well on this account. Not a ton, but a little bit. So that'll help. Honestly, maybe. <sighs> I know I said we're pretty much stopped spending, but that $100 pack has 500,000 Stellar Shards in it. Actually, hold on. What else does it have in it? <laughs> the $100 pack has 20 cores and 500 Stellar Shards. That seems spicy. You know what? Get a pay to an artifact next week. That's a nice solid check mark right there. Hmm. Maybe we go for the Punisher Staff. We're gonna get one next week. We have a mysterious artifact chest, and of course, we can buy a third one here. We just somehow have to come up with enough artifact fodder, which is gonna be the big, big issue. I don't think we have that much in our adventure. We probably need to start buying these up. 5,000 gems, I know it's a lot, but uh, we don't really have any. We need that fodder if we're gonna plan on upgrading artifacts. So. Let's see what we can do in here. Let's jump in. This is our first time, I think, in Death 50 plus, question mark. We got a very tanky wall deck, so as long as we don't come against like really difficult waves. We got to 53 last time. Um, Solo Oberon, I'm pretty sure we're fine against. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, I think we can make some progress. Are we gonna get to Death 100? Not, ooh, ooh, this is, this is, um, what do we do here what do we do we need a demon potion i feel like we need a demon potion against some adas i think we need big round one damage especially before they get their marks out that are going to deal big damage to us it's adding up pretty quick okay i don't know if we could have done that without a demon potion i guess we could find out this time we're at a round two active, so let's see if a round two active is good enough. Now here, we heal back up, which is good. Is this gonna work or are we gonna proc? We do proc, but we don't need it. I think we do need a round two active against the double Adas, which probably means against like quad Adas. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a round one active. The crown just gives us some ridiculous survivability. I cannot wait till we get that V4 though, because that active ability is going to hit so, so hard. Um, I think a basic should be fine here. 
because we do have the CC removal, so there's a very high chance that we just don't get twined. I don't think we need anything here as well. It's not really enough damage, I don't think, to really hurt us with our active coming in. Now, we do have to kill the Cthugas with actives, but we're going to just keep healing. They have no way to reduce our healing, so we're in a good spot. It's just going to take quite a few rounds to get this actual victory here. I wonder if we finish with 100. Yes, cool. 100 HP is nice. Another solo Oberon, you know what? Uh, it's rare, but now with the way Purify works, it's a lot easier to beat the Oberon waves. It's very, very easy, except for the quad waves. Like this one right here is a big pain in the booty. Um, I think we're gonna have to go into the Demon Potion, and I think one Demon Potion is enough. Although they're very strong. Do we do a second Demon Potion? We're already pretty well in second place here. We're only 10 levels in, or nine levels in. I think we just try it with one. This is the baseline. Does one work? I feel like it might, but we're gonna get heavily CC'd here. Oh, we do get the victory, but it's too much damage and too many layers. That feels so, so bad. So we're gonna have to hope that we can beat a Gru. <laughs> this could be difficult to be fair. Oh my goodness, the Gru is so strong. <laughs> Ankirimaru does no damage, which probably means the Horus does no damage either, right? Oh my god, death 50 is so brutal. Oh my god, look at the damage coming in. We can't even out-damage the Gru. Ah, oh, so we did get a new record. Definitely possible, but I'm wondering if I don't think Ankir or I don't think Waldeck's gonna be good with an upgraded Punisher, but I do think Waldeck has potential to do some stuff. Problem is he has no heal, and basically one of his passives is completely useless in Aspen Dungeon. So we'll have to see, but let me know in the comments down below if you think we should build a Punisher or if we should start saving up for another defensive artifact. Maybe an A and B. Kind of wish I would have got an A and B at this point now, but hindsight's 2020. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is the first time the Bleed Mean team is going to be uh, is gonna be kind of maybe appearing on the second channel. I think it's still going to be in the main channel in this one, but we're slowly going to transition the Bleed Mean team over to more Berry Gaming where we put our daily kind of uploads for all of our meme teams and stick to more current stuff here on the main channel. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.